Up first, breaking news as authorities arrest a man in connection with a grisly discovery involving human body parts dumped here in Arizona. Tonight, Walter Mitchell is facing several charges. Investigators say he ran a body donation business and the remains are from his clients. Good evening, I'm Tram Mai. And I'm Joe Dana. Caribbean and Mark are off tonight. Team 12's William Pitts joins us now with the late breaking details in this bizarre case that spans several states. A warning, some of the details are disturbing. These were people who thought donating their bodies would help others. Instead, Yavapai County Sheriff's deputies say those bodies ended up dumped on the side of the road. Body parts found in the high desert, a hunter coming across the severed heads, others finding arms and legs. Now the Yavapai County Sheriff's Office says Walter Mitchell took them from a body donation business he ran in Seattle and dumped them in Arizona. This is just, you know, to, to treat people so cavalierly, to treat the human remains so cavalierly. And I think that this is the most uh, hard to imagine part of this entire situation. Investigators say Mitchell ran a company called Future Gen X. They say he brought the body parts to Arizona and dumped them at two sites near Prescott. The first site, a short distance outside of town, right off a road. Officials found 24 body parts there, including detached arms and legs. The second, nearly 20 miles away, and in the middle of nowhere, they found five severed heads there. There's got to be some ethical responsibility there. You know, we just can't, this can't happen. Mitchell is charged with 28 counts of concealing or abandoning human remains. Charged attorneys like Benjamin Taylor say don't come up a lot. Because people usually don't just abandon random dead bodies in the middle of the woods of the desert. It's the second high-profile body donation crime in recent memory. In 2014, the FBI raided Biological Resource Center in Phoenix as part of a multi-state investigation. Families found out their loved ones had been cut up and sold without their knowledge. In one case, sold to the Army for testing and blown up with an IED. The company's owner, Steve Gore, pled guilty and had to pay $58 million in a civil lawsuit. I mean, my, my father's body was cut up into pieces and sold. Sheriff's investigators believe the body parts in Prescott are from five different people, all from the Seattle area. Now investigators have to find their families and tell them what happened. Sheriff's investigators are hoping there are some sort of records that will help them find the families, but we know from the Biological Resource Center case that sometimes it came down to DNA testing the body parts to find out which body went where. William Pitts, 12 News.